Hello, hello, hello. Now, if we haven't met, I'm Viv. This is Art with Viv. I've already done this duckling in gouache, and I will link that below for you so that you can see the gouache version. This is the version that I have done for my Patreon, my patrons and Patreon. This is for the paid members. I have a lot of watercolor enthusiasts, so when I do gouache, I also try to do the same exact piece with watercolor for them it's just an extra perk of being a paid member now i did this for my patrons in real time so this video of course as you can tell very sped up but in real time my dabblers that pay just five dollars a month they get this whole exclusive video in real time and it also comes with not only the real time video they will also get the reference photo the complete supply list, an outline drawing in case they're not confident with their outline skills, and they will also get um, a color mixing guide as well. And of course, they can ask me questions about it anytime they want. We have our own little community on Discord. So for $5 a month, the paid Patreons, they get a lot of content, a lot of bonus content for each video. Now, for my free members, they get coloring pages, they get early access to videos, they also can ask me questions on the site if they need to. So it's really a good deal. You can do free or $5 a month, um, but it's, it's really a good value. You get a lot of art instruction for just $5 a month. Anyway, I decided to do this um, little duckling, of course, for them, for my watercolor enthusiast, because I do a lot of different things on my Patreon. I do my bullet journaling. Um, my paid members get the full layouts for each one of my months for my bullet journaling. They get coloring pages. They also get a free, or not a free, but they get a printable download for their monthly membership um, that is in full color if they don't want to draw it in their in their bullet journal they can just download it and stick it in there or they can frame it and use it as some art if they'd like to do that as well so yeah they get lots of benefits but this little duckling is really simple it's not a difficult I wouldn't I wouldn't call it very difficult it's a lot of glazing a lot of layering I'm letting those layers dry in between I'm building up from light to dark in the traditional watercolor fashion with this little duckling and I am just really enjoying the process here there aren't um, a lot of complicated techniques for this little duckling we do do some wet on wet in the background for the water it's a very limited palette. It's mostly browns, yellows, and blues. So if you have those colors, you don't have to buy any new colors. You can just, you know, use what you have on your palette. And I really, really enjoyed doing this duckling. The most complicated part, I will say this, was his bill. The duck's bill has a lot of complicated shapes and shadows, but if you break them down shape by shape, then it makes it a lot less overwhelming. You can focus on each shape, putting those together in the right spots. And before you know it, you have the bill. So it's complicated, but we break it down shape by shape and just put those in there. Just trying to make sure that we get the colors correct and the tones correct. So I will say that the bill is probably the most difficult part. The actual body of the duck is just lots of layers of different colors and getting those shadows and those highlights in the right spots. That's basically all the duck is. The water in the background is just some wet on wet, a little bit of wet on dry. Once the layers dry, put in some darker shadows and just paint those directly onto the dry paper. So it's not, it's not difficult. If you'd like to get this in, um, real time and it does it is almost an hour of real time video and instruction um, then consider joining my patreon now here like i said the duck was the duck bill was the hardest part but you see we're just building up different shapes with different tones of the same color with just a little bit of a reddish orange mixed in 
because he does have some of that on the beak. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but my patrons also get the reference photo so they can see the different colors right there in the reference photo. They don't have to go just by my video, just by what I've painted. It gives them a little bit extra information to go by while they're painting. And when you're painting, you want as much information about the subject as you can glean. So I always try to give them a reference photo unless it's something that I have created from my imagination and there is no reference photo and then they just get the completed piece of art to look at, which is also helpful. So as you can see, I'm taking a lot of time on that bill. His body was pretty quick. That bill is what took the most time but it also is the most satisfying and I don't know. I just like the bill. I like the complicatedness of it and I like making it simple by breaking it down into sh simple shapes and tones and values. And that's how I always go at my paintings. I'm just thinking about all of those things coming together to make one beautiful painting. And here we go, I'm we let that little duckling dry and then I just mixed up a nice blue green and then I just started going straight onto the dry paper. But then I come back and wet it with clean water and just sort of blending it out. And while parts of it are still wet, I'm adding a little bit more of that blue green. It's not a hard technique. It's really kind of sloppy if you look at it. It's really messy. You don't have to be afraid, you can just put those colors down there. I also put in his little reflection in the water using some of the same colors that I used for his actual body. Um, I did have a little trick to make that look more like it was in the water instead of just a bright, too bright reflection. I did a little trick for that and then, which you can find out on the full video. And I just went around him with this beautiful blue green color and it really makes his yellows and those deep oranges pop because they're almost complementary colors. Um, and it's really a nice little effect. I also used some white gouache just to let you know a little secret. I used some white gouache at the very end to add in some details. I did some dry wet on dry technique here to put in the darker parts of the water. As you see, I am just painting those darker shadows directly onto dry paper. I did not do that while it was still wet because I wanted those shadows to keep their shape. I did not want them to bleed and blend all over. So that is a good tip if you want to control your shape and keep it crisp on the edges, then painting wet onto dry paper, that is your ticket. That's how you do it. And then I just used some clean water to blend some of that out when I needed to, where I thought it was necessary. I did that darker color right around the edge of the duck because of course where his body meets the water, the water goes a lot darker. And um, I just tried to mimic the rippling effect of the water with my brush strokes. So yeah, this was a really fun little project. It only took about an hour and I enjoyed it. I try to do um, the same subject with different media for my Patreons because I think they enjoy that. I get, I get tired of doing watercolor all the time. I like to try different mediums and that's why I've been working on gouache. We do also do um, watercolor markers gouache, a little pastel. I haven't gotten deep into the pastel yet. I also have a knowledge base for my patrons um, that goes into details and gives tips about the different mediums and that seems to help and that's for free and paid members. Now there are some lessons I would say that go uh, into really deep deep detail and those are for my paid patreons because of course they should get the premium content it's only fair they're supporting my 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 channel they're part of my patreon family um and they're you know going to really try to keep my patron going and i appreciate them so much i appreciate all my patrons paid and free i try to give them good value and here we go we've got this little duck i appreciate you watching i hope you consider becoming part of my patreon and if um 
If you don't, that's fine too. Keep watching. I've got lots of stuff for you on the channel.